Today we will see how we can create general journal entries. If you need to create new general journal entries from general ledger, journal entries, general journals, select new. In this area, you can find here if you what you need to show. If you need to show all journals, whatever it's supposed to or not, so you if there is any created journals, you find it here, or you can see the posted only, or you can see not posted. The most important, if you click posted only, you will not be able. You will not posted. You will be able to create new journals. But if you select is posted, and click new. It's a transfer, change it to not posted in order to can create new journal. Okay. I will change the legal entity first here to our test legal entity. Then I will click new again here from if I need to create new journal journal entries, general ledger, okay, journal entries, general journals new in this options you can select show user created only so you will see here the journals which you created only okay new select journal name it's a journal journal by description here for example pg cash events for example here in general tab here you can find the details about the journal setup also here you can find the account type in the offset account what you need to appear in the offset account if you need the offset account to be ledger or bank or window you can select from here okay amount of good sales tax the default currency which you need to appear in journal, you can select SCR. Okay. The financial dimensions here as per your structure. If you need to select the dimension here, which it will make your entries there in the journal lines easy. So once you select in the if you select it for example here, the function which it will be for example general administration. So when you are making the transactions in the system, it will not ask you about the uh, dimensions as it will take from here by default. If we, if not, you can select it from the journal. Once you click here, new, the most important, click new, select journal name, enter descriptions. You, it's this options is not mandatory. You can open it or not. Okay. Once you open it, you can click lines. Here you will find there the dates in the journal lines date, which date in this transaction. For example, it's 14. Okay. Portion numbers is sequence from system automatically. Here is the legal entity. Here is the account type. You can select the various account type. If you need to post a transaction to the ledger account directly, so you will select the ledger. If you need to make transaction for any vendor, you will select the vendor. Fixed asset bank, customer, as per each account type. So in our my example, I will select the ledger here. I will put the account here, for example, which it will be rent expenses, which is the only creation, create account. As you see now, if I didn't put anything, if you what like this you will find all ledger accounts appear you can filter by values or by descriptions if you know any account any numbers from the ledger account you can enter for example i know the rent as a start with five so once you select five you will see only the accounts which start with five or uh, i need to select rent expense so i know the rent expense start with re like this, it will show you all accounts which start with RE. So I will select this rent. Then system asks you, you have to enter the department and financial. You see, 
the function dimension here it came by default general and administration you see it came here as general and administration as I selected it from the zone general journal form out before I log into lines okay then I will click the description here here system ask you I have to select the department so I will go to create department one second here from human resources departments departments I will click new then I will click for example human resources like this okay department type is department or cost center or business unit it's a department okay then I will click save I can click new department also it will be accounting okay I then I will click save if I went back to the journal form general ledger journal entries general journals I will find my journal here I can click lines to enter the lines once I came here to select the main account okay then I will select the development which development for example let's say human resources then the function if I select human resource form out it will appear here directly as we explained then I will select the dimensions I will enter here the description you can take it copy paste from the header for the zonal lines or you can enter it here I will write print for December 2018 okay here in the debit field I will write for example 10,000 Credit, for example, I can select the office account if it's a ledger or customer or vendor or bank. My example, I will put it ledger, for example, and I will put it here the prepaid rent expenses, for example, like this. So it will take dimension by default. You have the advantage if you have only one account debit and one account credit, you can put the offset account here in this field. Which will save you to your time in instead of create new lines below okay or if you don't want to select the account here in the offset you can come to here after you bought the amount in this field in the debit you bought the rent expense and what's the amount debit you can click down on your keyboard okay and you can come here select the account type it's ledger and you can come here as we explained before, if you if you save the number, you can write the number or the credit letters. So I write like this, and I will select the rent. Then I will select under which development, for example, this one. Then here you can enter description. You can enter the amount as credit. So you have the options to create the ledger, the journal. If it's one voucher, one account debit and one account credit, you can put it both in the same here debit and in this area here the offset account here which it will be credit but if you can if you need to make it like this you can put like this one account in one in one line debit and another account in the other line is credit you can make multiple lines here for example you can make five lines debit and five lines credit you can all five lines debit and one line only credit or five lines uh, credit and one debit only you have the option to create unlimited lines number in the same voucher okay once you finish you have to click validate here to make sure that your journal is okay also you have the option for the attachments as you see here there's attachment here you can click here and, sel and select the attachment if you need to attach for example file image you know URL you can attach it to the general journal it's the same email function as you uh, attach in your email while you are making uh, and sending emails so it will find to you to 
attach it in order to back again to find the attachments which related to this journal. Once you finish, you click validate. Once it's validate, you can post the journal. Okay.